Welcome to our hub identification class. And we must know that the restoratory, restoratory principles of health help us to live a good life. No single hub can treat any condition effectively as required. But when we are treating the body, we need to make sure that the whole system, the 11 systems that we have, needs to be strengthened and energized. And in treatment, you need to understand a principle of strengthening the body after treatment, after the recovery. When sometimes some people receive dosage, dos, uh, dosages, after some time, they, when they become well, they leave the, uh, the remedies. But they have not gone towards strengthening the treatment. You, if you take, let's say you're having a malaria today, you take some herbs and after two days you are well and you think that that is all, you need to go for a one week strengthening of the treatment. And that is where you look at, uh, you look at uh, the diet and also some herbs that help you to strengthen the system. If someone was having cancer and she gets well or he gets well after three months treatment and the tumor is gone, the body is feeling well. You don't stop at that. You have to go for some one month more to strengthen the body. So that principle of strengthening the body needs to be understood. In removal of disease, we have the highly stage of revitalizing the body and then detoxifying and alkalizing the body and then we have the last stage that is to rebuild and uh, strengthen the system. Those three stages has to be approached in treatment of any kind of any disease. And sometimes we need also, even if we are looking to be seeming to be well, you've not been sick for over 20 years. That does not give you a guarantee to just be careless. You need to be learning what you call incorporate in your system to make sure that uh, your body continue to be in a mode of fighting for itself. And that is why we are having these classes of herbal identification class to help us know what we are supposed to use in a right way. Today we are discussing nut gross or musta. It is a Euro cleanser. This is a common herb that we get in the swampy areas. It's a common grass everywhere in the swampy areas. It, is, it has very sharp, sharp leaves and the roots are like for ginger. They, they, they actually uh, uh, look like ginger. And they're very sweet. If you roast it, I tell you, you will, someone will just eat it without knowing that he's eating a grass. Well, so this is how it looks like. It looks like something common you've seen. What are, these, what are its uses? It is a great for digestive and urinary system. Basically, we use the roots for this complication, either as a tea or as a tincture or in a juice form. When fresh, fresh, you just juice them and then you drink it in or you can boil them, simmer them, and you take them in. The dosage is... Three, a cup three times a day for, uh, for uh, any disease. And uh, if it is a tincture, it is, you have to use about three to five drops. And uh, if, it is, uh, if it is a syrup, you use a half a glass after every two hours until evening, beginning from six. Well, so that is how you use it. If it is an oil infusion, applying topically, you just apply as about two hours a day in the morning and evening. So it fights metabolic disorders like diabetes and inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. It can also help treat weight gain and fights obesity. Uh, because it, uh, if you take it, it makes you to, uh, to feel full most of the times. It treats epilepsy, Alzheimer's disease, and even cancer because of its rich phytochemicals. It sorts out digestive ailments like dysentery, irritable bowel syndrome, and indigestion, colic, 
flatulence, nausea, and vomiting. For diarrhea, take a decoction of monster made by boiling, heating the powder herb in warm water. Have it with a little honey. This remedy has even been used successfully to treat childhood diarrhea. So it tackles obesity and cuts fat levels. The cholesterol levels are lowest because it, uh, uh, it lowers... It lowers the low density lipoproteins and increases the high density lipoproteins within your arterial walls. Uh, counter obesity and high cholesterol help expel excess fat and cover from the body. It reduces uh, in excess anger, thirst, and tiredness. Dry massage uh, with mustard powder. It's recommended for cutting subcutaneous fat depositions. Mustard ability to metabolize fat and expel it from the body may be responsible for its anti-obesity activity. So here is a good one for uh, overweight, for normalizing your weight. It is also able to chelate or remove heavy metals and toxins found in existing fat cells, thus detoxifying the body. So for heavy metals we get from vaccines, from the, uh, from maybe the heavy leaded uh, petrols or diesels, this is one of the things to go to remove mercury, lead, and tin in your system. You take uh, the tea made out of this gross, and other other others that help us with that is alfalfa tea, uh, tamarind fruit tea, albizia back tea. Uh, we also have uh, coriander or cilantro leaf tea, and then we come to uh, to the mustard grass. It fights urinary tract infections. Rhizome shows antibacterial activity against these pathogens. The rhizomes powder also has diuretic properties, which helps you pass more urine. It eases menstruation problems. Master is an emenagogue, helping stimulate menstrual flow in women. It treats anemia as well as easing and general weakness you might, ex you might experience as a result of a menstrual disorder. Given to nursing mothers to purify and improve the quality of breast milk. A paste of the fresh, uh, fresh tuber is also applied on the breast to boost lactation. So some of the foods that help us with uh, maintaining, uh, maintaining the, the pregnancy as well as uh, strength, uh, balancing the hormones and uh, also ma maintaining good milk production. We have the fenugreek, we have the, uh, we have the, edu uh, 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 it is called uh, edulis, it's a species of plant called edulis that it's used alongside all these uh, uh, mustard plant to to help with that. We have the Kigelia africana. We have the uh, we have uh, we have also the stinging nettle and uh, okra, Malabar spinach, the pumpkin leaves, the jute mallow, uh, the spider plant. All those help a mother to purify the blood and to have quality milk and quality milk. Ensures, uh, ensures a child, the immunity of the child to be very high. And uh, it regulates blood pressure. Mustard have hemodynamic properties that help optimize blood flow and stimulate respiration. It helps counter the learning impairments associated with Alzheimer's disease and may even improve cognitive problems that result from it. Treats worms, infestation, and, and infections, including, including the ones caused by tapeworms, as an antipyretic effect. If you have a fever, the remedy could help bring down your temperature by promoting sweating. What are some of the remedies we use for fever? We have the cayenne, lemongrass, uh, cypress leaves, or cedar leaves, or uh, eucalyptus leaves. We have rosemary and, uh, and uh, Indian borage, 
lemongrass, uh, the leaves of mangoes, all those help us with the, they are antipyretics that helps your system to remove toxin through sweating. It is anti, it has anti-allergic properties because it cleanses the system. Natural grass paste is used topically to treat skin problems like eczema and scabies. It also helps its itchiness you might experience at the site. In addition, the extract is used in formulation designed to help with pigmentation of both hair and skin. It is used in some, some, uh, some suntan gels as well. Use of, uh, use of mustard oil and ointment and found, and found that it was more effective than a standard tropical antibiotic ointment at reducing wound closure time. It helped the wound contract and improve the tensile strength of the wound site. This ointment may help reduce tissue swelling, inflammation, and hosing of tissue, uh, of tissue uh, fluids. So you know how to make an ointment is to use the medicinal, the, the, the part of, the, of that herb in an oil, like olive oil. It, you use some essential oils for, for, for aroma like eucalyptus or peppermint or tropical mint. It eases conjunctivitis symptoms. You add drops of the root decoction in both your eyes and drink it in also to lower conjunctivitis, glaucoma, cataract, and the pressure in the optic nerves. Helps cure diabetes. It's used for diabetes, tackling epilepsy and reduce seizures as antispastic and sedative effect helps relieve, uh, relax the muscles of the body and acts as a gentle tranquilizer. It eases rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis symptoms and has cancer-fighting potential. This is all about, about the mustard. You know, this is what is revealed and experienced by us. And uh, I believe that there are many things there in nature or many uses that it has that we still have not done. I'm telling us, advising us that we continue to advance in researching and studying our environment to know what we can, uh, what we can use for the benefit of man. So God bless you.